let's head back down south and go to Dovno. It's another little burned out homestead. For whatever reason, I don't know. So yay! Adventure! Oops, I overshot Dovno. Alright, let's go. Let's identify some of our crap first, since we have a boon of treasure. Talk, ident. Start with me. Identify the potion. Weak energy potion. Buckler, bronze buckler, wand of venom, dagger, stone dagger. Puh. A silver ring of protection. No one else has anything worth identifying. Oh, that is actually identifiable. Ah, I don't want to go that far. Silver ring of protection. Give that to him. Because rings of protection are great. Um, bronze buckler. I have no idea how to actually, like, look up stats for items on this. I'm assuming a buckler is worse than a shield. Even though a buckler is a kind of shield. You know, I might as well just give this buckler, Billy Buckler, to my thief. Yay! You can equip a buckler with your other crap. Stone dagger, I don't think I can sell it for anything. I don't really use the spell venom, let alone need a wand for it. Um, so let's sell this. Come back here and take my crap. Don't need the energy potion, wand of venom, I'll take that for the gold, and a stone dagger with a boon of one! Yay! Look at all the gold we have. Now, I'm gonna talk to that guy again. See if he reacts to the guy's name that I just saved. Daniel, no. Nephil. I killed them all. Key. Bronze key. He can't give me any information. Bye. I guess it's just one of those things I have to find out for myself. Let's go to this blacksmith and see if he can give us any good wares. Oh, those are all weapons. I don't really need weapons. La 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 leaving now. Let's go back to Silvar. Spend the night at the inn and I can actually show you guys um leveling up your characters. La 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 To in we go and go and do see do and ah, come back. I want to talk to you, give me a room. There, let us save the game. Okay, let's go back to good friend the trainer for training. Now, when you buy it, it shows you on the bottom. It's basically like the main screen for when you're making your party. Um, This secondary thing, I finally know that it's the price of gold. Basically how much it is to increase it by a point or whatever. So as you can see, my fighter has five points to use. Um, so we will give him a boost in strength, because that's always great. He has two more points left. Let's give him a thing in edge weapons. Okay, next PC, I'm glad with that. Um, let's give her some more strength. And uh, just give her some more weapon focus. Done. He didn't level up. Kenneth, my mage. Ugh. It sucks because to increase his mage spells, I need to get six points. He only has five, so I think I'm actually going to save that. My priest could give him more priest spells. Let me skip over that. Final character only has five points. Give him a point in intelligence. And 
and just a little more HP and a little more SP. Okay, let's go back. Um, there we go. Yeah, I'm, I want to save that, but I am going to actually up his priest spells. Bam. And we're done. Now we have level 4 priest spells. Of course, it's Cure All Poison, which is very helpful. Curse All, which I don't really use that much. Dispel Undead, which is a much stronger version than Turn Undead. That can be very helpful if we ever find more ghosts again. And Remove Curse, which is good for removing curses, obviously. Um, so yeah. Go us. I think that's it. That's the entire Nephilim Fort. Um, we got some cool stuff. Go us. Um, I'll just save the game. And next time we will go on the next leg of our journey. And hopefully advance towards some sort of a plot. Um, I'll break this into a couple parts. See how long each one is. And try and make it as coherent as possible. Um, so, as always, I am back Chris at Toucan. And thank you for watching. Bye now.